today's episode, we're exploring a massive abandoned hotel and convention center that abruptly shut down last year. And to make things more interesting, we'll be visiting in the middle of Tropical Storm Henri. One morning in January 2020, state officials arrived at the hotel unannounced and revoked their sales tax license, knocking on the doors of guests and forcing everyone out immediately. Now, join us as we venture inside and see what's left. Thanks to Keeps for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Did you know that two out of three guys will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35? And the best way to prevent hair loss is to do something about it before you lose your hair. Keeps is a subscription service that makes it easier and more affordable for men to treat male pattern baldness online. They offer online consultations with a real doctor and ship the only two FDA approved medications for hair loss right to your door. And they're affordable since they offer generic versions of the medications. With Keeps, you can message your doctor 24-7 with any questions you have and track your progress. Keeps treatments typically take between 4-6 to six months to start seeing results, so the sooner you start, the more hair you can save. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to Keeps.com slash proper people or use the link in the description to receive 50% off your first order. So we are currently in an abandoned hotel as a uh, tropical storm Henri approaches. <laughs> I was not expecting this much water yeah. damage in here. It's only supposed to be abandoned for about a year. Yeah. So that's, that's a lot crazy. of water coming through. Place must have been in bad shape before it shut down. what it's supposed to look like. Look at all these amenities. We'll have to compare these photos. <laughs> the pool looks pretty nice in that photo. Those slogans are so tacky. <laughs> Going the extra mile for adventure is always worth it. Looks like they left a lot behind. Tire computers. Here's yeah, the. Yeah, uh, it's definitely been tossed around a bit. It like has. have been in here, but stuff is really just left here. A key programmer. <laughs> if only there was power. There's like a few areas where if you look at just that part, it almost looks like the place could open tomorrow. Then you look around a bit, and there's a dick on the carpet, and the entire ceiling's coming in. I bet these uh, couches here are as clean as pretty much every other hotel. So Probably. I doubt they might like, be clean. You know, they have people been sitting on them. Hotels never clean their furniture. There's the elevators over there. Yeah. Oh, check this out. Needles. Oh, yeah. Nice. I'm trying to be fancy. <laughs> This area actually looks pretty nice. There are water fountains right by the door. 
They still got the Christmas decorations up. So, yeah, January 2020 might be when they shut down. In which case, it's been more than a year, but not that much more. It should not be this damaged for only sitting for that long. This must be the kaleidoscope bar we saw on the sign. Also looks like it's the party spot. Yeah. This glow stick is still glowing. <laughs> there was a party here recently. Here's uh, some trespassers. <laughs> Obviously when there's still power on here. Why are they inside the building? I don't know. Maybe because security hung out in here. October 23rd, 2020. Then eventually they realized this place is too far gone and just gave up. Yeah. It's a picture of the monitor. Yeah. So they only have live feed and they must have taken it off of the live feed. Yeah, and then printed a picture taken on a yeah. phone of a monitor. <laughs> it's getting kind of windy out. Not really. This is like a joke compared to stuff we get in Florida. Seven AM to twelve PM. Twelve dollars. All inclusive except you Ariel. That's what it says. <laughs> You can slowly hear water leaking in everywhere in this building. Still got stacks of glasses back here. There's mold growing on the tablecloth. But the teas are still set up. Place is full of flies. You can hear the water flowing down these roof drains. That's probably what started leaking in the lobby. Who do you think drank all the wine? Explorers <laughs> or the last hotel guests? I don't know, that's a lot of corpse. That's also a lot of mold. Wow, rude war in here is covered in mold. Look at all the plates and silverware left behind. Mm -hmm. You'd think they'd at least auction them off, or it's a hotel chain, so you'd think it they could use chain. them at their other locations. Yeah. But I guess if they're closing down multiple, they'd have a lot of surplus. More wine bottle corks. Definitely parties going on here. Should we start opening fridges? <laughs> I have a feeling there might be stuff left in some of them. No. Okay. That's it, good. The least. door is sticky though. Yeah, this kitchen is stocked. Some moldy pretzels here. <laughs> Jeez. Dishwashing station. It's starting to sound windier. Yeah, look at all these like pots and mixing things. It's all everything left here. Industrial kitchen pots. A large mixer here as well.
Sounds like it's picking up a bit. It's just rain on the glass, the uh, skylights. There is more of it. Let's have a look in some of the ballrooms. Oh man, you're hit with the mold as soon as you walk in here. air is stale in here. These chairs probably absorb all the moisture and the carpet. Yeah, the cushions. It keeps going. That's one of those divider walls. Yeah. Chandelier is against the drop ceiling. <laughs> it's always It'll never look tacky. good. <laughs> Still tacky. What a very regal looking centerpiece knot. It's getting moldier the deeper I go in here, so I think I've seen about enough of this ballroom. Wonder what this strung up Ethernet cable was for. Security system? Probably. <laughs> it almost looks like it would have been strung up after it closed because yeah. it looks too jank Goes in to there. have been here while it was open. Yeah, the mold in this hall. Wow. I hear a lot of water coming in down there. Oh, yeah. And there's a piano. I wonder if it's broken yet. All the water's coming in in the bathrooms. Those bathrooms seem like they would be horrid inside. It's raining just in here, based yeah. on the entrance. <laughs> it's just pouring in back here. It's really disgusting. Damn. Yeah, I am gonna get out of here. It's disgusting. It's really moldy. This is one of the dampest buildings I've been in a while. It's like even century old hospitals have been abandoned for decades, their roofs don't leak that much. Just shows you the quality of modern buildings. It seems like a lot of the roof drains have failed or clogged up here. Yeah. So it's just lack of maintenance really. But at least there's so much mold. in perfect working order. Brian or I really need to learn how to play the piano for the amount of abandoned ones we come across. It'd be cool to actually play them when we find them. This hallway looks scrapped. I wonder if all of the hallways, like where the guest rooms are, are gonna be like this. I hope not. This is really messed up. Yeah, these are just like weird little offices in here. Yeah. Just conference rooms. Yeah, these are just small offices. I don't know how much we have to go through these. Yeah, it's pretty emptied out. Let's uh, check out the pool, because I saw it around the corner there. Yeah. Christmas tree. And they got their budget on the whiteboard back there. They were spending like 150 grand a month. And their revenue is lower than their budget. Nice. Every single month. 
pretty much. These offices are pretty much set up with the monitors and the computer. Yeah, no wonder they shut down. This place was bleeding money. A lot of real plants in here. Oh yeah. Something just fell. <laughs> wow, it's like a big dome over the whole pool. You can see the plants that are still living are the ones right below the leaks. Oh man, look at the bottom of the pool. Yeah, that's not like water consistency. That looks thick. It's like solidified. Yeah. Clouds are moving pretty fast out there. The gardens. Doesn't look like gardens to me. Guess that was the name of their yeah, restaurant. There's some dead plants in the back over yeah. there. Dude, people's hotel rooms back up right against right this. Here. I bet you this was something else originally. Because there's this weird box built in the middle. Yeah. Take a look around turn here. Turn into a restaurant or something. <clears throat> Here's this like is a an gazebo. older style of drop ceiling, though. Yeah, it is. This is our trespasser. Keep an eye out for him. <laughs> what a weird photo. Hmm. Okay. What a weird photos. That's the hotel. Looks like a dump. Ooh, it smells gym smell, but mold. Yeah. Ooh, not a good one. It's like old carpet plus mold plus sweaty gym. It's got gym. the typical gym smell in there somewhere, but it's a lot of mold. Pretty basic gym. Yeah. It looks pretty tossed about in here. This place is scrapped. Damn. They really got through here. It's Yikes. funny how like several months ago they were worried about like the slightest trespasser. The pictures I saw must have been from that time. Yeah. And now they just got scrappers in here probably bringing truckloads of scrap out of here. It there might be people living in here too. Really? That's a generator? Or that's an air compressor? Yeah, but look at the way the beds are and like there's stuff thrown about. People must have been sleeping. Look like rain the bottles. Yeah. This is right. If there were people living in here, then 
I feel really bad for them. Yeah, does it look like this one does too? Oh, all the molds. No, this bed is still like made oh, normally. Look at the mold in this one though. Oh, look at this room. It's covered in tarp. That's some Dexter shit. <laughs> this is Dexter right here. We walked in on the scene. I don't know why they're trying to protect this shit. There's the still mold still underneath it anyway. All right. If anything, it captured the moisture in it. Yeah, I gotta get out of this room. Cause yeah. This is the kind of air that'll make you sick pretty uh -huh. quick. I'd say give ourselves like a few more minutes in these uh, guest rooms and then we gotta get out of here. Oh, this doesn't smell bad at all. This smells like a normal hotel room. A normal hotel room. That like slight musty carpet smell. Yeah. This one's not too bad. Look, they still have a water bottle here. <laughs> the one they charge you, brand. they charge you like four bucks to use this water bottle. It looks like it's blowing until you see the trees in the background are barely moving. All right, I think we've seen about everything there is to this place now. Buildings like this really make you appreciate the older stuff. <laughs> it's just a cheaply built hotel.